Welcome to TYT Sports. As Mugatu would say, Diego Costa could take a shit, wrap it in tinfoil and sell it to the Queen for earrings because that is how hot he is at this moment in time. Uh, he just cannot miss the, against Swansea. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems that I, I love Zoolander, sorry, love Zoolander. Um, it just seems that the guy is just firing on form. I did have my doubts about him after the World Cup. I watched him uh, so many times during the Spanish League and I thought he was very good uh, with Atletico Madrid and I tipped him to be one of the best in the World Cup. I remember in the video he'd be good. He didn't uh, deliver, but now Chelsea, my God, have they found him in form. So Swansea did give a slight scare. They started really well and all credit to them. They're not sitting, sitting second in the league for no reason. They did deserve to, to take that early lead, John Terry, turning the on goal and then Diego Costa, uh, he, he, he managed to bail them out. But the big change, it, this is why I, I put so much strength on coaches, is Jose Mourinho. Um, he, he changed Ramirez, uh, he brought in Ramirez to hold that midfield and push Fabregas forward and then that's what happens. Fabregas set up Diego Costa and he manages to go on and get a hat trick. And then of course if things couldn't get any better for Mourinho, he brings on his new sign in Remy who smashes in his first goal of like I think his third or fourth touch of the game. So it was all smiles for Chelsea and this is what Jose Mourinho had to say about the man of the moment Diego Costa. Has Diego Costa's start to his career at Chelsea even taken you by surprise, the level he's hit already? You know, seven goals is a surprise because nobody expects one player to score seven goals in, in four matches and without penalties, just free, free play. Uh, it's fantastic, but we, we, everybody was expecting him uh, to succeed, to feel comfortable, to adapt to our team and, and to our Premier League. Uh, but to score seven goals, obviously, is a fantastic record. How strong is he? How difficult to stop is he, would you say? I think it's difficult to stop our team. When our team has the ball and our team is confident and is focused and is recovers the intensity that, that we need, our team is difficult to stop, not, not, not Diego. Um, in these four matches we had some good periods and some periods not so good, but in the good periods we are really difficult to stop. Jose Mourinho, as always, is, uh, is on point there. Um, not only Diego Costa is he so hard to stop, his movement is so intelligent. He gets in behind the fence, he makes those runs. Most of his finishes are one or two touch. And do you know why? Because when Chelsea are ticking, they have so many players to assist you. Oscar Hazard and Fabregas for me have been so impressive about just making the movements in behind there, uh, definitely causing so many problems for defences and I, I wouldn't buy a bit, bet against Chelsea at this moment in time uh, with how well they are playing but the, but the problem as well, how well they are playing attacking, defensively they've conceded five goals in the last two games and if you said that to uh, Jose Mourinho at the start of the season he would definitely flip out, he does, he's a big uh, believer in a strong defence uh, system that kind of builds forward and he will not be happy that they've conceded five goals against Everton and Swansea. I mean, no discredit to any of those two teams are two good teams, but uh, they haven't faced against the big teams like Manchester City, Liverpool, Arsenal and Man United. And with conceding these goals, it could be a problem. But in terms of what's going on in the attacking third, he can only smile and look forward to many more goals from Diego Costa as uh, no one can seem to stop him. Thank you for tuning in.